Hey, this is Josh for Retool.net, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the ability to select next and previous clips using the keyboard in the latest version of Premiere Pro. So in Premiere Pro CS6, we were able to use the up and down arrows on our keyboard to go between edit points. So let me show you what that looks like. If I click on my sequence and hit down, it'll go from edit point to edit point, and that's great. But we weren't able to select each clip using the keyboard. So now we could use the shortcut command up and command down. This is command down and that's command up. And basically that will select the clip. Where this becomes really useful is if you want to control effects on clips. So let's say I want to do a color correct on all these clips. I can select all of them and I can type in fast and just double click and add a fast color corrector to all of those clips. You'll notice that the render bar turned red indicating they all have effects on them. And if I hit Shift-5, it'll open up my effects control palette. So if I select this clip, you'll see the fast color corrector is in there. And if I hit Command down, I'll be able to go from clip to clip and quickly adjust the color on each of them. Now I'm going to undo that and show you an even cooler workflow you could do with this using adjustment layers. So I'm just going to drag in an adjustment layer and then I'll just drag it out to the end of the sequence. So now I have one long adjustment layer, but really I want to be able to adjust the color on each of these clips individually because they're all separate clips. So I could come in here and use the down arrow and hit Command K or the Add Edit function. Command K, Add Edit, Command K, Add Edit. And that's making a cut because this clip is an active track and it's toggled for track selection. So now I can do the same thing and I'm just going to select all the adjustment layers come in here to the effects and I already have the fast color corrector selected. I'll double click and now each one of these clips has a fast color corrector on it. So now I could quickly come in here and set looks on each one of these clips. So I'm just gonna do something crazy on each one of them just so it's nice and obvious. Command down. And same thing. So very quickly I was able to set a color correction on each one of those clips and if I hit command down now you'll notice it's selecting the lower level and that's because in this case they've chosen not to honor the track selection so even if I shut off the track selector here and hit command up and command down it's still selecting the bottom layer but that's not really a big deal all I have to do is come in here with the mouse select this top clip and now command down will go on that same layer command up as well. So I actually prefer to respect user selection and I wish things like the match frame command would do the same thing where I could just click on the clip and hit F to do a match frame. Instead that's only honoring track selection. So it's a little inconsistent how they've chosen to implement this but again you could see how it would be really helpful and I could just come in here command down and command up to select clips and if I want this track select one of them and then command down and command up. And then you could quickly just go through the effects on all of those clips.